I'm just getting so excited. Um, we're doing those last little tidy ups. That's why the chart, chart table is still a mess. But it's like the last little tidy ups, uh, putting things away because, oh, it's sunny and we're going to go sailing. Especially with the... <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. The issue we have is converting the boat from living mode to sea mode, yeah? Yeah, when you're living on a boat, I mean, so look at this. Beverly's got her work out uh, because she's published um, the video this morning. So she's been working, publicising all that. I've been writing because I write a blog every um, week. So I've written the blog and that's all up. You know, so it's we've done all that kind of work. And now it's time to go sailing. <laughs> but yeah, we've got to convert it from working to sailing. Different mode altogether. And hopefully we can remember how to do it. Well, hopefully, but there's new things to add onto the list. But that's the good thing about having a checkpoint list. It will remind us of all the things we've got to do. Um, our lifeline. It. I know they say Dyneema doesn't stretch, but it sort of loosens up when it's in the locker, and sort of you've got to get that loosness back out and get it tight. And it's about three mil short. So what I'm doing is I've attached a sheet to it, and I'm just giving it a couple of damn good pulls to get that looseness that's in in it out. So I'm doing to it what I do to a boat coming in, sweating it. Yeah, and we're nearly there. Mm. But um, this is just one of those jobs that we haven't done because we take our lifelines off. Don't we, we take them off for winter because what's the point leaving them out in the weather in winter when you're not going to be using them? I mean, particularly this winter when we knew we weren't allowed to go out because of COVID. Yeah, so you may as well give it a go. See how we're doing here. Nearly there. Look at that. Uh. Touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs, one of the things that we've not had to store before is our dehumidifier. Um, but um, it just um, fits underneath the table and uh, bungee cords have come to the rescue. So that's that done. Right, in our um, video on um, engine service tips and tricks, uh, one of the things we were saying was start the engine with the seacock closed. Uh, one of our subscribers, um, he did that a good while ago. Um, and apparently what happened is because the water wasn't going through the around the impeller, it shredded the impeller. So just decide what's right for you. Um, as I say, We've opened the seacock now because we have actually started the engine. It was only when you haven't... Well, it's not running now. You mean we've started the engine in the past? When we've, yeah, when we're running it on a regular basis, then we do open the seacock. It was just when um, that guy uh, said when it hasn't been running. I think it was the comment I made that it takes a few minutes for the engine to warm up, so there's no great urgency. Uh, but really, as soon as the engine is running... As soon as the engine is running, open that seacock, seacock. because, like I say, uh, one of our subscribers, um, he um, basically shredded his impeller purely because there wasn't any water going round it. And it just... Um, it's amazing about both systems, how they've all got to work together, otherwise... Yeah, and it's just sort of like, um, you've got to make a right decision for your situation. But it's just, uh, it was an interesting point and I just wanted to talk to you about it. But I've just done the um, the, the checks and it's like <laughs> more excitement. Right, should we go through the checklist for the 54th time? Yeah, because you just have to and that's what a checklist is all about. No, I mean the 54th time because it's been that long since we've been to sea. Four, yeah. four months roughly. Well, we haven't, uh, it was just before Christmas was our last sale, um, and now we're in April, so for us that's a long time. 
yeah. So today is really just a little jolly. Get our sea legs back under us and just make sure that everything works like it's meant to. Yeah, if we can just... Our mission today is to go out of that lock and, and come, come back, back in, in. again. <laughs> okay, slipping at the back. We're still on it, but we need to go. Ready? I'm ready. that today just to get our sea legs under us. But the thing is, I like these. Don't want to do the topping lift, it's not doing anything. What did I say about the topping lift? You said undo it. I said don't undo the topping lift. Oh, I've got it on video. Okay. Um, one of the things I want to check is um, my, say, my stitching. Right, well we'll do that when we're back in, maybe or... No, 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 I'd want it under sail, I'll be wanting a... Okay. Because if there's any parting, it'll show more under load. Okay, I understand. Nearly four knots. Yeah, okay. And the engine's in neutral anyway. The engine's currently in neutral. Right, okay, Do you want to try a tag? Um, I'd like to try the engine off. Okay, here's commitment. Commitment! Oh. Just because I like the silence. The little engine wasn't making much noise. She was doing great as far as noise is concerned. I think we'll give her oil changes more often. <laughs> Well, I'm much happier with the um, the way that my our third reef is now. Um, previously, we could never quite set our third reef correctly, and that was actually to do with the sail bag. Obviously, with me putting an extra hole in the sail bag, not a big task, but it just means that now our third reef is set and it's in the right position. And it just, the sail just looks a lot better for it. So, um, that's my third reef checked. 
checked and my next thing that I want to check is I want to check the um, Genoa under full sail because if there's anything wrong with that stitching that I put in this is the time to check it. Alright, so let me get organised. So we're currently on that one. We've got to pull to this one. Yeah. Okay, ready anytime. Okay, ready to tack. Yeah. Tacking. Come on, Rama, come. Hey! That should do us, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm yep. uh, on the other side. I'm going the other way now, as in. I've just twisted yep. the wheel. Yeah, can you go back that way a bit? <laughs> I've got it full lock on the other way. Wow. in this little test sail uh, was go forward and just check my I put in some sail tape repairs um, just check that they were all right and also check if we'd raise the halyard um, pull, pull the sail up sufficiently and it looks like we need to pull the sail up just a little bit more uh, to get it into the right position but it's just just we just like testing things, we're just testing girls. <laughs> so we've got the engine running at the minute because we're done out here for now and we're getting ready to go back in. Yeah, this little, the purpose was, as I say, for this little test sale was just my third reef, I wanted to check that, uh, my stitching, I wanted to check that, you know, and that was enough for us, just test and of course test the engine. So we've done all those little tests, so yeah, mission accomplished. Right, back to our slip, time for dinner. Absolutely.